Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Shop Social with Kim. We are super excited to have you along and hope that you're going to get ready for one hour of uh, get for some new spring sneakers. So if this is your first time joining us. Hello, my name is Kim. You're joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. We're right smack dab in the middle of Canada, uh, one hour north of Winnipeg. For those of you who are just joining us for the very first time or have ordered online with us recently, hello, welcome. We're very happy to have you in our Facebook community. Um, each and every Wednesday, we get together right here to do our uh, sort of our weekly happy hour of shopping, sometimes clothing, sometimes footwear, sometimes accessories, um, but always a lot of fun. So today we have some spring sneakers, lots and lots of different brands. Um, so rather than kind of focusing on one brand, we thought we'd kind of gather all of the ones that we've got in just so that you can um, kind of compare uh, some of the different ones, see some different um, support, what the bottoms look like. I can tell you a little bit about um, some of the technology inside or lack thereof. Um, and it's kind of the first shoe that you can start getting off, like getting out of your boots and then getting into what are you getting into maybe a, um, like a sneaker is nice, kind of a transitional shoe, right? So right now it's really wet dirty you don't really want to be wearing sandals yet but you definitely want to get out of your boots so um that's where we thought sneakers was a perfect um a perfect thought for this evening so before we get uh, right into it we'd also love to do our draw from last week as well as a bit of housekeeping so from last week we featured our tribal pretty pinks and more so thank you to everybody who um, ordered from that video as well as sent screenshots phone calls emails um, we've sold quite a few pieces from that collection um, from last week's video so thank you that was wonderful uh, so if i could please have a number we had a, a 77 unique comments um, could I please have someone post a number between 1 and 77? And that will be the winner of this week's $25 gift card, which you can choose to have as a parked credit or um, as a gift card or an online code as well. So we've had some some of our um, um, further away customers use it as an online code off their order, and that's worked perfectly. So perfect. Hello, Sharisa. Number 17. And that is Michelle Kanaski. Michelle, if you're watching, congratulations. Number 17. We have Michelle and her comment of watching live from Beausager. So welcome, or so congratulations. All right, uh, so that was um, uh, the, for the $25. Then just a reminder uh, that we will not have a video next week. I am away next week, so we will put a little post up about it. So just make an, a mental note for yourself. Uh, we will be live in two weeks uh, for Blingo already. So it seems hard to believe that Blingo is here already. So uh, for those of you who ordered an April box, I hope you're enjoying all of your box goodies. Um, it was lots of fun to put together that one and our May box. We're still waiting for a couple of items. Uh, so we're keeping our fingers and toes crossed on that. Uh, but we expect our May boxes to be shipped out um, late the week of the, like Blingo I think is the 17th. So the 18th, 19th, or at the latest, uh, the Monday after. So due to those couple of items being in transit. So, okay. Um, so that we have nine boxes left. So if you are interested in getting in on April Blingo, please let me know if you would like it shipped, please let me know by tomorrow uh, because I will not be shipping next week. So that, well, that's one other housekeeping thing that's not on my script. So any online orders that are placed after Thursday at 6 p.m. will not ship until Monday, April 15th. So you will get a little bounce back email saying thank you for your order. The shipping will be a bit delayed just so that you guys know um, if you are ordering online, we are not. So the orders will be picked. So you're, you'll, you'll still get your goodies, uh, but they will not be shipped out until I am um, home from holidays. So, okay, um, that's it, I think. So bonus question for this week is, what is your favorite springtime physical activity? So last week when I was doing the comments, I realized I forgot to do a um, uh, bonus question. So what is your favorite activity that you're looking forward to getting um, back to as soon as the weather warms up? Because now we're going to have double digit temperatures. Hallelujah. So are you a walker? Are you a runner? Are you a jogger? Are you a biker? Uh, do you like to do Zumba outside? Do you like to walk on the beach? Any kind of activity will do and that'll get you an extra entry into the draw uh, for the gift for the uh, $25 gift card draw, which we will not do incidentally until the week after Blingo. So we'll be catching up from this week's winner um, then. So yeah. Okay, five minutes I'm allowing myself for uh, chitter chatter. So chitter chatter, let's get at her. We've got lots and lots of awesome sneakers uh, for you. So first of all, we're going to start off with our Bionic. 
and um, this is definitely Kim's pick. So I'm not really a sneaker person. Generally, I don't have a very casual lifestyle. So I tend to not buy casual shoes, but always a but, no, or always a however, never, never a but. So however, I am, um, I will start with my personal pick. So whenever I am going away, if I'm going on an airplane, um, if I'm just out walking, being casual, the Vionic Beach is my absolute personal go-to. In fact, I was going to wear these with the outfit that I'm wearing today. Um, but I don't know if you can see my little shoes. So this is not a sneaker, but when I put the sneakers on with this Capri, it looked kind of blah. So I thought the shoe kind of needed a little bit of elevation. So I'm hard to see that, but this is a new little Riker and it matches any, any color that you have in your wardrobe guaranteed. This little shoe is going to match. So I just might buy these. They are so cute and comfortable and kind of elevates a little bit of a look, um, especially with a little bit of a longer capri. So anyways, yeah, outfit tour today. So I actually came to work wearing this today. So this was one of the ones that um, from the pink video last week. So came to work wearing this. I was wearing it with my little green pants, but I thought, oh, the green pants look kind of boring for a video. So these little raspberry capris I thought looked great with this and a perfect match. So this might be a nice little July outfit um, for me. So yeah, so there you go, outfit tour. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Vionic Beach. So um, a couple of nice things about this. So this is definitely, I love the little rose gold grommet on here. But the nice thing about the Vionic is a couple things. So first of all, it has a great arch support. If anyone has bought these Vionic Beach and you love them, please comment below and let everybody else know why you love them. So although this doesn't look like kind of a, very, it looks like a very flimsy insole, it actually packs quite a punch when it comes to arch supports. You can kind of see where that arch is. The other thing is um, it actually has an elastic. This is kind of a crazy way to show it, but it actually has an elastic over your arch. So when you're walking, there's actually one piece of elastic over your arch holding it onto your foot. So they are super comfortable. When we've been away, I have walked 25,000 steps in these, no problem. My feet are not sore at all excellent support terried line so they're great for barefoot walking so if you don't want to necessarily wear a uh, sock in your shoe great for barefoot kind of that ratchy little beachy kind of appearance and these wash up very nicely so I was quite worried about getting a white sneaker they're actually called cream on the website but they are they're whitish creamish I would say um, but so they say you can wash them and likely there is people on this broadcast who probably have washed theirs I have a new washing machine so I was fairly hesitant to put them in there and kind of clank around uh, but I did soak them in my laundry sink with OxyClean for about 10 minutes wash them off really kind of super clean if I had a little dirt I kind of scrubbed it with an old toothbrush or any little sort of laundry brush that you have rinse them really well stuff them with tissue paper not newspaper because they'll get black um, but stuff them with tissue paper and, or you could just put them like over the vent easy and they wash up perfect. So I have had gotten mine like fairly muddy, like today it's really muddy here. Um, and they came out just great. So I cannot say enough about these. They're probably our best selling sneaker. As you're going to see, there's lots and lots of colors. Um, the white is classic, but you're, if you already have white, I'll show you some other colors that you might not be able to live without. Um, incidentally, these are all, all on the website. So it's johnsonsfashion.com. Click on women's footwear, click on Bionic. And then the, this, this is the Bionic Beach and that's where you'll find all these. So then we have the pale gray. So we have the, the and they all kind of have just a fun little grommet, right? So just that little, this one is kind of a peachy grommet, but all the same construction. So we have white, we have gray. The new color is the racing red. Love this color. And I like that the laces match. You know me, I'm a matchy match, right? So I like the little red lace match there. And the sole is cream, it's not white. So not so glaring as the white, a little bit more of kind of that warm cream. Classic black, number two color, navy. You can tell I really like these, <laughs> every color we have. And then also the lilac. So these are kind of fun, okay. So um, we also have a little sister called Malibu, and these are the same construction, just the pull-on version. So they don't have the elastic all the way around like the other ones do, but they do have a nice elastic over your arch. So it still kind of snugs up in the arch, but it's not all the way around like the other ones are. So that we have the pale coral. We had limited sizes left in these. This is, I think it's called pistachion or like it's like the, it's a fundraiser one. Kind of has a little like kind of like a well like a under the sea kind of theme cute 
Then we have the blush. And new color is the denim blue. So yeah, so that definitely um, Kim's pick for sure. They flatten pack down into anything. Super, super lightweight, great support. So next, sort of since we're on the holiday vibe, we're gonna uh, continue on with our Olakai's. We just got these yesterday. So they are on the website as well. So johnsonsfashion.com, click on women's footwear, click on Olakai footwear for women. We do have men's as well in Olakai. Um, so if you're looking for a pair for your um, other half, uh, we do have the Olakai men's sneakers as well. So first of all is the Pehu Ali, and all these are of course from Hawaii. So all of the names are Hawaiian inspired. Um, excellent, excellent um, support in these as well. So the nice thing about these is you can actually, um, they're intended to have a drop down heel. So you can push your foot in and wear this as a slip on, or you can wear it um, as a regular sneaker. I'll pull the arch out and show you these. So these are actually great if you have a narrow foot as well, because they can snug up very nice and tight, really nice. Um, supportive insole on these as well and nice construction so this is the number one color I think it's called tapa and but the so these ones are actually designed as a surf shoe so being from Hawaii um, when the surfers get out of the ocean they have wet feet so they don't want to put their foot all the way in so they go um, they collapse the back and then slip in like that or you can use it as a regular yeah so tapa number one color and functioning lace so you can make it as narrow or as wide as you want it does fit a narrow well as i said uh next we have new color and that is the plain white so i like this actually this was i was very close to rep or not replacing but adding on to my white shoe collection um with this one if i had more of a casual lifestyle i would buy these in a heartbeat very very nice clean classic look kind of a bit of a gum treatment and really nice and comfy then we have the slip-on version, which is just called Peua, like so Peua Lee, so Lee for lace. This is just the regular Peua, and this one color is called Pavement. Same insole, and this color is called Tapa. Um, kind of a mesh type of construction. Just a really nice, comfortable, everyday sneaker. You can wear this in the water. It's great for sailing, if we're great for the beach. Moving on, we also have a Teos sneaker. So kind of every shoe brand has their version of a little sneaker, right? So the Teos ones are ones that we sometimes actually display with the insole out because the, the, in, the support is so amazing. So if you see the shoe on the shelf like this, there is a reason because look at this arch support. So you can just see how huge of a buildup that is. So very, very comfy, super, super um, supportive, lots between you and the floor, really nice metatarsal um, um, extra padding here as well. And just a nice clean classic look. So really nice and trim. And this one I would say, well, would fit like medium I would say probably not super wide but yeah it's one that we often will have displayed like this just so that you can actually see how how amazing the arch is so plain white and also the dove gray these are on the website as well both colors good um okay so I've just kind of pulled the best of the best because otherwise we would be here till midnight so I'm gonna quickly before we run out of time go into the sneaker slip in so the sneakers, the Skechers slip-in. So if you watch any TV at all, you will know that Martha Stewart is Skechers' new spokesperson. So on ESPN, mostly like lots on lots of the US stations, ABC, NBC, you'll see tons of commercials. And the premise behind the slip-ins is you can stand, you can put your foot in without bending down to do laces, tie, anything like that. So a lot of people have been waiting very anxiously for these Skechers and so finally we have them. We've been out of them probably since November, very little stock available in Canada. So we did get our full fall or full spring order um, on mass. They actually come from California. So everything kind of comes at once. So we have lots and lots of great styles. And you're probably wondering, do they really work? Like, can you really slip your foot in without, um, without slipping down. So why don't I do a little test? I could actually, I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing that, but why not? Okay, so first I'll take this off. So this is a seven and a half in a loafer. So this is what I would normally wear. Okay, so I have not actually tried to do this. So this is real life television, folks. Okay, can you see? Okay, so easy breezy. 
pretty simple. Okay, so these are like pretty comfy. Lots of memory foam for sure. Um, not a lot of arch support from a build-up perspective. So not a lot like when you think of the other ones that we just talked about where they have that sort of bump in the arch. This doesn't have that, but it does have a very nice uh, supportive foam insole, which is memory foam. So huh, that is actually pretty easy. So there you go. Live demonstration. That was not part of the script, but we'll, we'll take her. Okay, so let's get this done up here. All right. So I'm going to show you the couple of different styles and this is, so when you look at the Skechers slip-ins, um, they look kind of funny on the shelf, right? They always have, they all have this flange at the top and it's sort of an ergonomically designed patented thing. And so when you look at the inside, you'll actually see that it's pretty built up. So there's kind of like a little recess in here and then this actually hugs your foot. And all of them have this sort of flange, right? So once you sort of get over that part of it and just think of it as a normal slip-on or a normal sneaker, um, you'll be fine. So first of all, uh, sneakers and runners, or sneakers and runners, this is more of a loafer style. Nice if you're kind of an indoor person and you wanna just like wear shoes in the house. Some people prefer to do that. If you do any hallway walking or anything like that, this is a nice light option. Like these are very, very weightless. So let's see what they say here. Hands-free slip-ins, just step in and walk away. No more bending. Hmm, there you go. Okay, so all in the colors that you see them. Then we have the same one in black. So this will be a fantastic little waitress shoe. Anyone who uh, works in a kitchen and has to have all black. Um, that's what this one is going to be great for. I try to go as much as I can black on black because a lot of times, even in a restaurant, if you have a, a dress code that requires black, it cannot have a white sole. So definitely, um, this will be great for those gals who work in restaurants in the summer. Same shoe as the beige. Then we have a little bit of kind of a, a little fun one. So this one is, um, still a slip in. So again, you can tell by that flange kind of has, um, uh, that yoga yoga mat technology. So Skechers were ran with that for quite a while. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to look at the insole on here. Oh yeah, machine washable too. So hmm. yeah, kind of a cute inside too. It has like a little tweed kind of inside. Kind of cute. Anyway, so definitely higher on the vamp, more of a sort of knit type of upper, still the same, same uh, insole support. Okay, then we have one that's a little bit more rugged. So if you're thinking, I want something that I can wear right now, that's not gonna, um, that I'm gonna be able to walk, you know, a little bit of a distance in, but a bit tougher, a bit gutsier than some of the other ones, this is a great option. Um, you can kind of see by the sole, it definitely has a little bit more between you and the floor, but still the great um, slip-in technology. So Skechers is forecasting that the slip-in technology is gonna overtake a lot of regular styles. So like it went from being 12 styles the first season to like, 72 the second season so I don't even know what it'll be next year right probably it'll all be slipping right because who wants to sit down and bend if they don't have to so definitely that kind of gutsier option then we have styles that you're used to seeing from Skechers this is just a regular style like so if you ignore this you've probably seen this style from Skechers many times many different ways lots of different colors but with a slip in easy to slip in and go so we try to take these in a little bit more of neutral colorations so that you can wear them um kind of all year long. The taupe has always been a good one. And we have the same in black. So again, there's a great shoe for that um, waitress, anybody who has to wear black for the summer. Then we have just a faux lace. So this is all knit upper and just a, just a lace for fun. So I don't think you can actually use this to tighten. I think it's just kind of there. And then just that little flange. So again, you, it's kind of, when you put your foot in, finger in, you actually no, don't notice the recess until you kind of get your finger all the way. And it's almost like a little hook. So kind of an interesting technology that when you walk, your foot actually doesn't come up and down. It really does hold it into place. This is a nice trim bottom. And next we have, so same upper interest. Well, very similar upper. So interestingly enough, more of a sneaker, quote unquote, type of bottom. Then we also have one that is a little bit more guts in the bottom. So a little bit more between you and the floor. If you're someone who has a hard strike, so I have a hard strike when I walk, I generally do um, tend to, um, when I'm walking, I'm usually like, th th this is the part that usually gets worn out first. 
Um, I prefer a little bit more guts in the, in the, in the heel. Maybe you do too. And definitely does rock you forward a little bit. So this one does have a bit more of an incline this way. Uh, what does it say here? Stretch for customized fit. Uh, and this one is again, just a ghillie lace. So no, no customization there. Then we have another style that you've probably seen from Skechers. Maybe you already own this style from Skechers, very common style. Um, again, with updated with that slip in base. So just a really nice regular sneaker. This is kind of that uh, really nice, easy spring sneaker. Goes great with jeans, nice with white. Definitely works with black. And then finishing off with two that are not the slip-in. So of all the ones that we got, only two um, are not the slip-in. So classic white. Of course, white sneakers are now continuing to be popular. Um, I thought this was a really nice one because it's quite shallow on the foot. Sometimes a white sneaker can look like a lot, especially in a larger size. This is a nice trim, sort of a skimmer shoe. And just has a nice little, I hate these little tags here. Has a nice little sort of elastic ghillie tie and also in the gray. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Throwing shoes around here. Okay, so that in a nutshell is the Skechers. Now, we are hoping to get replenishment later in the season, but we really have no idea. In the fall, we weren't able to get almost any replenishment. So if you're interested in Skechers, they are here. Um, they are all on the website as well. So it's uh, Johnson's Fashion, johnsonsfashion.com. Click on women's footwear, go to Skechers Footwear for Women. We also do have men's uh, slip-ins as well. So I knew I was gonna run out of time in this broadcast. So the guys, I, I, I the guys hit the chopping block floor, put it to you that way. <laughs> I initially had thought, okay, I'll have time to do kind of both, but definitely don't have time to do both. So we do have all of our men's slip-ins as well in the same type of, um, same type of styles that you're used to for men, as well as some converted styles. So same as we had um, in the regular ones, now we have it in the slip-in. So yeah, okay, so that's that. Um, now I'm gonna move into Riker, which is kind of a little bit more sporty, a little bit more kind of fun, flashy and fun. So first we have, and I, these I don't know numbers off the top of my head yet, uh, but um, for those of you who know and love Riker, you'll probably recognize some of these as repeaters as well as some new colors. So this one is kind of what we call our little bowling shoe. And the nice thing about this is it does have a zipper to go in and out through. Most of us don't want to sit down and tie a lace every single time. So these are great. It also has great width control. So if you do have a wider or narrower foot, these laces really expand nicely to give you a custom fit. So kind of a nice little tropical print. Then we have, so these are sort of in not really any bottom of choice. So like there is a couple of different bottoms. So this one is a new bottom, but a replenished style. So this one we have had in the past in like a gold combination, which has been very good, a black combination. But this year they kind of updated it with this nice little spring floral, which I thought was quite cute and a little bit more. So you'll see this one has that kind of bowling shoe type of look. This one is a little bit more like a sneaker. And again, easy on and off, right? So this is definitely something that they're putting on in more and more shoes as well. Um, the other fun thing about this one is this is all neoprene. So if you do have like a bunion or any type of foot issue, toe issue, you have sore feet, this is excellent. Even hammer toes, we see all kinds of problems here. So lots and lots of um, adjustment in the neoprene. Just a nice, when you put your foot in, it's just like, ah, oh, it's so comfortable. Okay, then we have Riker's version of kind of the classic white. I like this one because it's got just a little bit of jazz I like a little bit of jazz, of course. Uh, gold and silver is a great option because it matches anything. It just kind of gives it a little bit more of an upscale appeal. Same, easy on, and different sole yet. And same shoe in the plain all over beige. I thought this would be a great shoe for traveling. So a lot of people have come in and saying, oh, I'm, I'm going to Europe, Portugal, Spain, like lots and lots of people have been going to that part of the world. And you kind of need a closed shoe if you're walking over cobblestone, but also something that matches everything. So when you're pack, trying to pack light, you might need something that matches everything. So I thought this might be a really kind of, not boring, but basic color that really, what wouldn't it match, right? So although it's sort of not wow, it would be very functional to take traveling. And you could, you know, dress it up a little bit if you're wearing slacks or definitely shorts um, with a shorter sock. So um, not super wow, but definitely has its place. 
Next we have another little gold option. So this one is kind of a little, has a bit of shimmer to it, which is fun. Sort of similar to that bowling shoe type of look. So here's the sister, oops, here's the sister. Um, looks really different though in different colors, eh? And then also again, easy on. Um, I would say this one does fit a little bit on the narrow side, more so than on the wider side. Just not a lot of depth somehow. Then we have the other little sister of the um, bright one with the neoprene and a new update. I'm just going to show this a little bit closer. So actually quite a nice, pretty, um, delicate print. The other one was kind of more glittery. This one is a little bit more softer, more subdued, but still neoprene. So great, great shoe for kind of wearing with everything. Easy on, easy off. And then I thought this one was really cute in the floral. If you're thinking of something that's not really neutral, like I know what we're seeing is lots of neutrals, right? Other than the bionic. Um, that's kind of the trend right now, other than the super crazy, but I like sneakers that you can kind of wear with everything. Like this one is not neutral, but you could still kind of wear it with everything, right? So I'm just gonna give you a close up of the floral and kind of like an etched floral almost, like it looks distressed, but it isn't. And just a little bit more lug in the sole. So if you're a 90s girl, uh, you will remember those big lug soles. Um, we dipped our toe into that. It definitely is not for everybody. But I thought this version kind of was a little bit more wearable than some of the other ones I've seen. It has a little bit of lug, but you know those old Steve Madden ones? Like they had huge lugs, like, you know, like the, like the Baby Spice friends. <laughs> I know I'm dating myself with that comment. <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely that is coming and for fall 2024 coming up, you'll see more of that, but I do kind of like this one. I think it's kind of just a little bit, a little bit of a lug without, without going over the top. Okay. So next we have, um, one of my personal favorite brands, Fit Flop. So when Fit Flop uh, came over from the UK, probably about 25 years ago, their slogan was the shoe with the gym built in. Um, so you, they actually advocated with their sandals, you could actually do a boot camp or a whatever workout in them. And that was very true in some cases. So now they've progressed into, into sneakers. So lots and lots of people swear by their fit flop sneakers, myself included. So I do have a plain black pair of these as well. Um, I even keep them at work in the winter if I'm just wearing jeans um, and I want to have something a little bit easy that I could just run with my boots. They're so comfortable. So these are, again, super weightless. And I'm just going to show you a little bit inside. Oh, no, this, oh, is this one. Oh, it's, oh, it's glued now. Okay, non-removable insole. <laughs> so this one is a pull-on little navy and combination. Um, this is kind of a nice option because it's not super white. Like it's almost like a mottled ivory. Really pretty though in the midnight navy. And then we also have it in the cream. And this is a non-functioning zipper. So this is just a fun, a fun um, option. And then you just pull it on. Easy peasy. This is kind of a yellowy beige. It's not a really white beige, more of a yellowy beige. And then this one we thought was just kind of a fun throwback. So this is kind of that 80s. Um, what, what, what would be the best brand name for this? Just a real kind of like dad shoe, right? Like even the kids are all wearing those old fashioned New Balance um, shoes from the 80s. Like this is kind of what that reminds me of. But I think it's just a little bit more fashion forward. So if you're wearing a, even like, let's say a nice open bottom denim, um, lots of those really nice flare cropped boot crop jeans. This would be great with that. Just sometimes you have to kind of give it a bit of substance on the bottom as opposed to a nice delicate shoe, um, a great wider fitting shoe as well. And it's kind of like a nice goldy beige combination. So I don't know. I just thought it was kind of interesting just to kind of add to the, add to the variety of kind of same old, same old. And I like the depth of that shoe as well. Okay, so then we have our Echo. See what I mean about like all the different brands? Everybody, every brand has a sneaker. So this is the Echo Soft 7. So if you are an Echo fan, you probably know and love this sneaker. Um, this is one that they do continually sort of update, but Echo definitely is the Cadillac of this company, both in um, fabrication, so it's all leather inside and out, and price point, of course. With that comes, with one comes the other. So this is a very, very comfortable sneaker. It, I will say it's fairly firm. 
So if you like a sneaker that's like doesn't have quite as much flex as some others, this might be a good one to try. I am going to show you the insole. Um, it is not super like built in the arch, very soft and all leather lined. So really, really a nice shoe. This is a classic kind of sneaker. Um, a lot of people just prefer leather. So whether, whatever, for whatever reason, um, it's hard to get a nice, clean, classic leather sneaker. Lots of vegan options out there. Uh, but a lot of people do find that their feet sweat if they're wearing vegan. So just a, just a preference. So we always like to offer both. I don't find that. I, I can find I can wear anything. But um, so we do try to carry this one in the white. And then new this year is the rose pink. So this is a really pretty color. Great support. Um, really, really nice footbed. Excellent rubber bottom. Um, but yeah, definitely the Cadillac for sure. And then next we have our Joseph Seibel sneakers. Now these fit, these are a nice wider fit in the front. So you can kind of see from here, definitely getting a little bit more width in this area and not quite so pointy of a toe. So you're getting any a nice round toe box and they are also adopting that sort of easy on, easy off. And this is a nice leather um, inside, inside and outside. And I'm going to say not white, like it's more, if you actually look closely, it's more of a creamy beige Let's see if we can put it towards more white and just see the difference yeah see can you see that kind of it's really hard to tell on camera so this one being very white this one is almost like a like a bleached white like a sand washed white almost so if you don't like that really glaring um uh, that really glaring white this might be a good choice this one definitely has a little bit more in the heel pretty light as well and then we also have it in a new buck so if you're wanting something a little bit softer, nice mushroom colored nubuck. Again, done a nice job of the matchy match with the laces. I like that, of course. And I like that even the grommets are, are matching, right? Just has a really nice classy sneaker. Uh, I have to be okay with nubuck, so it's a little harder to clean um, than the leather, but a nice soft look as well. And then we'll finish off with our last series from Riker. And this one is a little bit more, um, it's a slip on but it's kind of one of the ones that Riker is known for. So this sort of cork panel, tons and tons of options um, in, we have probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven options right now. Um, and that's not including the ones that we have three and four pairs left. We only brought the ones that we have kind of one or two cases of. So this one is a functioning, um, it is a functioning elastic lace. Oh, this, I don't know why they do this, this drives me crazy get this off of here okay so elastic lace which does give you a bit of width control so especially if you are narrow you can definitely snug up not so much if you're wide because this is not like it, it there's a bit of a neoprene for custom fit but it doesn't really move so if you're trying to snug this works not so much if you're doing if you're trying to make it wider so this does have a zipper. However, it does not go all the way to the top. So it's just for show. So there's the, that's why I wanted to sort of contrast both because they're kind of a different shoe. So one, you're one camp or the other. Um, I don't know why they didn't just put, put the zipper all the way up here. That, if that were me, if I was the shoe designer, that's what I would have done. <laughs> but there has got to be a reason um, why they did not. So anyways, this one is, is a Midnight Navy new buck. I like that kind of a nautical type of combination. Then we have another, this one's kind of fun actually. So another white sneaker, but kind of has a bit of that rose gold effect on it. Nice little nude combination and just that little bit of um, copper on the back really just gives it a real different look. Not nearly as sporty as some of the other ones. Um, and just a nice clean look. So lots of ladies wear these for golf. So we've sold tons and tons of them for that purpose. If you're somebody who doesn't want a golf shoe, quote unquote, and you're just kind of thinking, oh, I just want to, you know, have a nice shoe that's going to be comfortable to kind of, or if you're just walking the course or whatever. Um, this is a brand new one. Not all of these are on the website. So the Riker, I'm going to say 50, 50 is on the website. So if you see me holding up one and you don't see it on the website, just screenshot it and, uh, just text it to me or uh, message me on Facebook. 
I'm catching up with getting everything um, listed, but I am a little bit far behind in the Riker. So we do have full sizes of everything in store, but yeah, like I say, it's just not everything is on the website. Other than that, all of the other things that we talked about are online. So, okay. Um, so then we have another little metallic option. So really nice, just with that little bit of silver, very neutral, but not crazy. And instead of the rose gold here, they're doing silver. I love those. Very, very cute. Again, easy go with everything and kind of upscale like sometimes a sneaker like i mean these ratchy ones like they're great they're super awesome they're my pick but they're casual right so if you're wanting to elevate your look a little bit or wear them maybe for a daytime look something like this might be more appropriate then we have a little bit of color and i thought this elm green was kind of nice with all those natural colors like last um we know we've had the avocados the browns the cognacs um this color is great with those because it doesn't feel like you're kind of going like into the grays and blacks it doesn't feel like you're wanting to put a bright shoe with it because sometimes your outfit is a lot right like even for me like my outfit is always a lot but i like this because it's neutral without being kind of boring right so think of all of those avocados the caramels this would be a great shoe for that perforation here in the leather so kind of a different treatment same bottom same that the that same that the zipper doesn't uh, doesn't move then we also have a little floral combination so although I'm showing all of the same shoes, it's funny because like when we're looking at them, we, Rikers is actually one of the lines that we don't generally ever see in person. So uh, we usually order um, from a line sheet online, which is difficult. And the picture is like this big. So sometimes we're like, we're, you're trying to like go plus, plus, plus to try to see where you uh, see exactly what it is. And we get it in and we're like, oh, this is not at all what we thought it was. Like the shoes I'm wearing today, I'm like, this is not at all what I thought it was, but I love it. So it's just funny how that works out sometimes. And um, this is one of those shoes because I was thinking, oh, it's going to be like just some very sort of muted floral. And actually it's quite bold. So nice, of course, back to denim here and the perforation, same bottom, but really different treatments make them look quite different. And then we have our neutral combination. Again, I was kind of thinking about those, the avocados and the browns and those real color combinations that you want just sort of that bit of neutrality, but not, you know, not super boring. So having a little bit of silver shine, kind of cute. And that's it. That's all. 738. We've got a few minutes. Um, what haven't we showed yet that we could show for? Oh, I know. Oh. Oh, what haven't we showed yet? Hmm, we'll see. Okay, I'm just gonna move us over. So we'll show our new little baby that we just got yesterday. So this is a new line for us. This is totally off script and this is not on the website either. So if there's anything here that you're interested in, just please screenshot it and I'm happy to send it out. So this is a new line for us called Shirley and um, it's very sort of think beach, summer, all kinds of super, super beautiful, accessories to kind of give your summer a little bit of color so first of all um it, there's everything from sweatshirts to beach cover-ups to beach bags to hats to makeup bags i'm just going to give you like a teeny tiny preview uh because i know these are going to go so the sweatshirts are all french terry this one says chasing sunsets so adorable um, they come small to extra large. This is a size small, so I would say it fits average, probably. Um, and they come, as you see them, with the prints. So this is a Chasing Sunset in the pink. And this is a line from the U.S. as well. It, it, um, so you may have seen you may have seen this down south, but you're, I've, I've never seen it in Canada before. So this one says, Vacation. It's like, whenever I see that, I always want to see that, that um, Madonna song, Vacation. Um, and this is a medium. So I would say this would be probably my size if I would. And like, look how cute it looks even with the pink pants. So cute. Vacation. Then we have Endless Summer. Very cute. So to me, that's like you're sitting around the bonfire, you're on the beach in the evening, you just want a little bit of a layer. Great with jean shorts, super, super casual, beautiful quality. Beautiful, beautiful quality. 
and it's all French terry. So it's a great summer weight sweatshirt. So many people want a sweatshirt in the summer, almost impossible to find without a hood. So these are 89. Um, so not inexpensive, but great quality. And then the last two that we have, this one is sunshine. I love this color. They're one of my favorites. Very cute. And all the same style and all the same price. And then we have, of course, because we're at the beach, we have Lake Weekend. I know everyone's gonna love these. I love, which one am I gonna get? Mm. I don't know. Okay, so like, I love that with jeans. Look, I mean, I oh, I can just even do a quick. Sorry, this is unscripted. Very unscripted. Love it. Okay, so that is sort of like that's sort of how I fell in love with this line at first. Um, then um, they also have some great little, and I wish I was, I don't have time to take you over to the other side, but I'll show you just a couple of the small pieces and then you can use your imagination for the bigger pieces. So they also have little like makeup bags, toiletry cases. These are all kind of quilted, very, very super on trend, lots and lots of this quilted purse thing, um, kind of a guitar strap strap. These guys are like 39. Then there's a big one, the big sister. These guys are 49, kind of the same type of strap, but like everything matches everything. So you know me, matchy match. Then we have a little canvas. So you have your beach stuff in here, your suntan lotion. Um, you can definitely do this as a toiletry case as well. And, but this is all plasticized on the inside. So if you're wanting to use it for the beach or put your bathing suit in here, you can do that. This guy is 19, so inexpensive. And then we have, this is kind of just one of the little purses. So they have got great beach bags. Um, how is that for like a great little summer purse, right? You're just going out in the evening and you're wanting just to throw your essentials in here. Um, all wicker, beautiful quality. And lots and actually like quite a lot of room in here. And even the finishing is beautiful. So we have big bags, small bags, there's backpacks, there's purses, there's all kinds of different things, which we will be featuring on a future video. Oh yeah, and this is a really cute little thing here. I'm just gonna wreck the display here. And this is one of the other quilted pieces, like for your phone. This is gonna be so adorable. So this is totally, like the colors of this are very Lily Pulitzer, fresh produce of those sort of that Tory Burch, like very bright and neon-y for summer. But isn't this like so adorable? So it's very, very bright. So if you're thinking, is that neon? The answer is yes, it is neon. <laughs> it actually matches my nails. There we go. So the guitar strap on here. And so this one would be definitely, so you could put phone and then they've got just a couple of little card pockets in here. So if you're out walking in the summer and you wanna just throw your phone and a couple of cards in here, perfect. Um, also place for your lipstick. And again, comes in colors. And these guys are 69 great little gold hardware like when I, as soon as i saw this like i totally fell in love with it there is just so many great options very gimly very kind of you're at the beach and you want something kind of fun um that's to me what this says so anyways okay so there we go i had five extra minutes to do a fun little splash and dash so why not um an update uh we did get our um escape in. So I know there's probably a few people in on this video who are waiting for the escape. Um, if you are on the special order list, if you ordered something special, um, I will be calling you tomorrow. Um, and everything is not on the website yet because we're missing four boxes from our shipment. <laughs> so we have eight boxes of 12 and we're waiting for the last four. So everything, we have everything kind of ready to go, but we're just hoping that it arrives tomorrow. Uh, so when I get back from holidays, I will be putting everything online, uh, but we do have lots in store and what we do have in store is ready to go. So we are just waiting on the last kind of third of it, um, hoping it didn't end up somewhere 
crazy, uh, but stranger things have happened. So if it doesn't come tomorrow, I'll put a trace on it and, um, and see, but yeah, so the lots and lots of great, uh, colors and, and fabrics, uh, this season, like you might expect. And yeah, so just a reminder for those tuning in late, no video next week. Uh, so we will look forward to seeing you two weeks from tonight. Uh, for Blingo. So if you are still interested in a Blingo box, we do have nine boxes left in store. If you do want a box shipped out, please order it online tonight and I will be shipping tomorrow um, until, well, my pure litter deadline is noon. So if I could get it tomorrow by noon, you'll get it by Blingo for sure. Otherwise, um, I won't be shipping until a week Monday. So just letting you know, if you are local to us, please feel free to pop in and grab a box. If you're just finishing curling and you're like, oh, what am I going to do on Wednesdays now because I don't have curling, um, join us for Blingo. It's so much fun. So get your friends together, um, mirrored on the big screen TV, have some snacks and make that your girls night. So uh, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Looking forward to seeing you guys for Blingo in two weeks. Have a great week next week and we'll look forward to seeing you then. And hopefully we're going to have double digit temperatures. I don't know if it's double digits for you or, but it's going to be double digit temperatures pretty soon. So get ready to get, get your sneakers out and remember the bonus question of what is your favorite springtime activity outdoor that you can't wait to be to uh, start doing again. So thanks for joining us guys. Have a great day. Bye.